So you have a joint you made in grade six? Yeah, I have a couple. You know what's crazy? That's crazy. The, yeah, it was still my thing. Like that's how I started the verse. I made music on Juke Juke Speeds when I was in grade six. <laughs> you wanna hear one of the songs? Jam for us, I day. Bro, I've been rapping since I was ten years old. So this is Lil Glare. Yeah. What yeah. was your name then? Uh, TV game. Uh, my Glare dope baby somewhere. Not a child, but like a a baby, like a someone who's keeping you company. I think that dolly shies me inside. You see me just roll my eyes like a dolly. Wow. You felt it. Hell but yeah. also, you know, yeah. me and the big girls have a bit of history. Yeah. I, I don't bench mad weight. That's how I be. Got the got the got three foot. Talk that shit. Okay, never mind. It's crazy that the answers nobody had I found when searching for myself. Let's toast to victory. Pick up your glass, show me love. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are now tuned into Chopping It with Buddha T. And I am the Lord of Get a Nigger with their top voice to do the intro. <laughs> <laughs> Maclera, dope boy nigga. What's going on, Lord? My family, I've been looking forward to this one. A couple of people have been looking forward to this one. Your people actually are on me out there on the net. They're what like, they say? Bring what they say? You, bring what they say? Let me say what's up to the people. Yo, what's up, South Africa? The world. Anyways, where were we? <laughs> I love this shit. <laughs> yes, sir. How you feeling? How you feel? How you been? I mean, you've been. That's a hectic question. Yeah. Oh, how, I'm, how I'm feeling? You feel, you feel different? Yeah, I think so. You feel a little different? I think sometimes I step out my body and I see the difference and I feel it. Sometimes I'm in the same motion I've always been in, so mm. it's like I feel the same, just in a different level of feeling, yeah. so to speak. You know. How do you like how you feel these days? Sometimes. I like how you look. Yeah, for sure. I like how you looking out there, man. For sure, for sure. Shout out, shout out. I'm, I'm a little scruffy right now. I've been working on the projects. Keep quality. Yeah. Montella. Niggas is hibernated. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Too uh -huh. much. Too much. I've been with Zoo. I've been with the boys. Um, I think yeah. that's been good for the energy in terms of the artistic side of me. Mm -hmm. But holistically as a person also, I've been doing a lot. I've been working on myself, man. And mm -hmm. it's dope from like a, 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 from a male perspective. Like just who I am at the house right now. Yeah, yeah. I love Ooh. it. You feel me? Like uh, at home, I'm um, in with my friends also. But as an artist, I'm happy, man. Yeah, I'm happy. We we come from very far. Which, which is what we we pretty much get to see. We just get to see like you doing your thing. Yeah, just the design. It's actually interesting that you bring up who you are outside of that as well. I think That's it's something I'm a fan of, especially when I speak to people like. Um, Last uh, part I did with the family, you know them also sober. Yeah, sober. And shout out to the sober. Shout out to the boys. The sober soldiers is what Fred said. When I was there, I was just talking about myself because yeah. the art's there to tell you about the art. Mm. You get to get the context of where the art comes from when we chop it. You feel me? Love that. But yeah, I think I'm happy. Yeah, I think I'm happy because my music's happy. I think happier. you have all the reason to be happy. Yeah, I think you should be. I'd be mad at you if you weren't happy. This put away isn't bad. You feel me? <laughs> my fashion level is decadent. Uh, you get me? Oh yeah, I love your fashion level. Let's let's start with something I saw. I think it was last week. Yeah, you were locked in at the farm out there with uh, the coat in your vest. Out yeah, there. for sure, for sure. What is what does that feel like when you get that call? Because I'm sure that's something you've been looking forward to doing. For He's sure. He sort of rips your sides. Yeah, for sure. Very yeah. much more than a lot of people would know. Crazy uh, fact about when me and Casper Chop, we actually speak like the slang of home a lot because he's Muff, but he's also Portugal. So mm -hmm. Portugal is the nickname for Pochipstrom. Yeah, shout out Trilly. Yeah, Trilly comes from Portugal. Boiti comes from Portugal. Yeah. You feel me? What's that, Owanate? Yeah, Owanate, for sure. Owanate. For sure, please. Um, <laughs> and Poch is right next to Madleira. Mm -hmm. So our differences in slag and lifestyle is like very minimalistic. Yeah. You get me? Maybe the Tawana is a bit more deep, you know, but because Madleira is a cesspool. It's Tosa, Soto, Tawana. And for those who don't know, Madleira is my hometown. It's called Clarkstone. But... When Cass hit me up now, it was, 
I was, it was, a, it was it's like you hitting me up now. We've yeah. spent enough time over the years breaking bread, sussing what we like, what we don't like. Mm -hmm. He's been so honest with me that it was just like, oh, it's time to go. Let's go. You feel yeah. me? What is he sounding like out there? Because I'm assuming he's in album mode, I'm assuming, you know. Give us a little, you know. I, gi I give him options. Yeah. You feel me? I give him hey, options. I know how you do. Yeah. <laughs> I give him I options. I know how you do. We did something definitely on a more like now sonic, if I'm not saying too much, you know. Very much um, mm -hmm. on the BPM of the more rugged style of music that I like doing. Okay. But I also gave him something high end because, you know, lately it just suits the core and decorum. So. Mm -hmm. Our oh, exist in both spaces. And you guys had great times? Sounded yeah, yeah, crazy? Yeah, yeah definitely. I talk, it I'm looked crazy in the snaps. I love when, when niggas do that type of shit, like when they go lock in and say, I right, bring niggas out. Let's I was actually in. done in like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I just decided to pull out. You know, yeah. did sign out How like long did you stay there? I was just 24 hours. I was like, yeah, let me yeah. not be rude, you know. Let's chat. Let's chop. On the me? farm was where they already gone from the farm, so it's we can say where it was. Ah, it's right? a low key I can never expose because I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not saying dudes blindfolded me when we went, but yeah. the process was very meticulous. All right, Cass. He had, he, had, he had an ostrich there. I peeped a giraffe there. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I had a crab in my hand, but I've been having crabs I in saw my hand. You know? saw yeah, it. yeah. We we we. <laughs> We, we was outside hey. eating field mice and pigeons when I was a kid, so it also reminded me of home a lot, you know? Yeah. But all in all, I, I can see the energy was great. The moment was intentional to say, yo, it's, it's a good time now to do this for home. Mm. Your positioning is so dope, and I think it's time. That's from Cass's side, you know? Just yeah, like, yeah. yeah. He's only showed love, but he was like, we'll do it when it's time, not because we're both mm. from the Northwest, and I'm happy we're doing it now. He reach out now. Yeah. I he's always restart, I won't cap. Yeah. So we've spoken a lot. I, I never want people to think it's only now me and Cass spoke. Like from mm. from when he saw Bodega, he's the first one <coughs> posted. You feel mm -hmm. me? Um if you check Bodega and you check the comments on YouTube, it's literally Tibibians versus uh the Megacy. Because yeah, it's like yeah. Cass <laughs> brought me here. No, mm. Mega brought me here. And maybe well, you'll see crazy. even in his content about the album. When I enter the room, he says, the first thing he says is, I was with this guy at the club, and he said to me, Man, I'm not scared of you or Keenan. And I was saying that with love. To yeah, say, yeah. I'm not here to pick sides. You know, as a Northwest kid, the Motoko Lista, that is Nyovi, is mm. this to me. And as a South African kid, this is what AKA means to me. And I'm glad that he understood that so much because we stayed like cool yeah. forever. You feel me? Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. Uh, what did I want to ask you? Uh, what did you just say? You just said something now. About, yeah, the bodega joint. Because sure. I also saw it from when Mega posted it. Also, mm. uh, Cass had also. He was the first one to do there. it. Okay. He was the first one to do it. And it was one of those, like, oh, snap, check out this dude. Mm. You know, um, he even spoke about me on Slicker like twice after that. So I remember when I saw that, I was like, what is this? <laughs> that I think I'm sure that's how everybody felt when they saw that. Yeah, and I think everyone feels like that to this day. To this day, I was they... about to say you, you kind of still carry that, no? I don't that's like doing fire. the same thing. Yeah, that's fire. I don't like doing the same thing. You've been around me enough in studio to see like the intention in my flows and say, yeah. "Yo, on this record, I want to do this," and then after, just give it to the culture. Dudes yeah. want to run with that flow. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I also saw. I also just saw um, Nasty was also. Recently, just showing you love. Did yeah, you that's see my that? guy. That's my guy. Last Did time you I see that? I think it was yeah, doing yeah, an yeah, interview on BBC somewhere. Radio. On the was that on BBC? <laughs> yeah, International Shout out to Nasty for <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, man. That sure. was fire. Shout out to Spank that. He also got me on, um, he gave me a return, yeah. Call of Duty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah, like, yeah. yo, come on, just pull up on it. I'm actually messing with it. You yeah, feel yeah. me? Yeah, but you love, man. Him and a crush of mine. Stick top. He, 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 <laughs> him and a crush of mine got me on Call of Duty. But the stick talk, I think... I like that you even went there, <laughs> just for a moment of clarity. Yeah. Matlera Dope Boy is not a gangster. Mm-hmm. Matlera Dope Boy, I sold, I think, let me, I'm not saying has, because I'm not anymore, but I sold drugs since I was, I sold drugs since I was 15. You feel me? Mm. And this wasn't in the era of people rapping about it or what. It was just like, after school, take off your school shirt. This is where we at. This is what we got for the weekend. Yeah. You get me? I was a shy kid at school. 
I got bullied by a lot of dudes. When I got arrested, so many dudes were shocked. I can imagine. They're like, damn. And you were smaller than this, respectfully. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, know, no, I, I respect that, <laughs> respectfully. So it was like, damn. <laughs> this little nigga moving that much this weight. Nigga moving like that. You feel me? But I was benching weight like I was in the gym. You Did you me? aspire for that? Or was that just circumstantial? It was like, ah, this think, is just what niggas do out here. I think it's two ways, you know? Mm. It, it's a spying room format of knowing you could do better, but like also it's like, that's all we got here. Yeah. One of my favorite quotes by a rapper that I like, his name is Cousin Stiz, and he says, there ain't really much to do around here. We just really ain't getting money. You feel mm. me? In a small town where the motion is, who bought this, who's doing what, and it's hardly... Outside of that, it's hardly uh, 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 elevating the culture. Mm -hmm. That you, you, you. No matter how smart you are, no matter how gifted you are, you will end up in the cycle of the fishbowl. You smell me, and mm -hmm. mine was that. Mine was the street culture, um, but at the same time, it it opened my heart a lot. You know. Okay. The township broke my heart when I was a kid. You feel me? Um, Explain that. Uh, just all the stuff I saw when I was a kid, man. I saw. Okay. I saw people die from when I was a young age. Mm. You know, even just walking with my moms and then she's going to get her hair braided and you're seeing someone like get kicked in the head until they concussed. But it's like a Saturday morning, bro. Yeah. You feel me? And That's just like, regular life. Look at like me. It's, he's like, no, we need medical attention. This <laughs> man doesn't need water. Yeah. You get me? And then uh, going over that and it's like, you see your friends becoming gangsters and now it's time where, where we smoke or where we hang. It's like, yo, are you about it now? Because it's your turn. Then I got to make that choice. Mm. Then I'm like, nah, man, I'm not about to die in the trap. <laughs> you feel me? Because it's like, mm -hmm. I have a very humble upbringing. I can't say I was a cheese boy, but I can't say we were dirt poor. But my mother yeah. was definitely not like a money person. You know, I yeah. went to school with a with a taxi by my own since I was like in grade four. You know, uh, if my mom's couldn't pay transport or if I child the transport cash. Um, I come from a family of blue collar people. Yeah. You know, and, and, and the first was my, my granddad was a cop. Then my uncle is a cop still now, big CID. He was so mad when I got arrested, bro. Like, it was crazy. I can imagine. I'll tell you that story after. <laughs> and then uh, my uncles, they all nurse, soldier, cop. You feel yeah. me? The boys slept on army, in, in, in army sleeping bags. And the ladies slept on the beds. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Some of us, we slept in the living room. We were a big family. Yeah. We, we migrated from parts of the Northwest to go live in Matlera because Matlera is a mining town. And mm. then obviously when the infrastructure went down in the city, that is very like obvious in the people. Uh, our families included because my mother was a teacher at the mine. Mm. She was part-time, which means she wasn't like a teacher every day of the week, you know, which made for okay. weird cash and whatnot. But it okay. also made for a hustler of a kid, you get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And then I go to high school, dog, I go to the school, it's called Clockstop Technical High. And it's a mixed race school in Matlera, and it's like a middle class school. You know, mm -hmm. you can be a cheese boy, you can go there, you can come from a normal family in the hood, yeah, you can yeah. go there. But obviously the difference in lifestyle is there. It's like yeah. the first time I saw Peter was at that scale. Yeah. <laughs> and white shorties, you mm -hmm. get me? Indian shorties, colored shorties. I'm like, a man like me with an eclectic palette deserves to be here. Mm -hmm. you was get the me? palette already eclectic? I think so. Uh huh. I think so, because now what happens is, my dad used to steal cows. He goes to PTA. You said steal cows. Yes, he used to steal cows. Okay. My uncle got shot in the stomach for it even. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, and my and mother... Not allegedly, right? No, 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 this no. Is yeah, ah, come on. <laughs> he's, stole, he's, he's stolen apartheid. They can't touch him now. Okay, I hear if that. If the white folks aren't getting touched for their apartheid crimes, I think our parents are fine. That's fair. One to Time I got no who told you or lead like I was just like, a, she was a... A domestic worker. Mm -hmm. uh, in between the teaching? No, 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 before. Before she, the yeah, teaching, she, This okay. is when they meet, you feel me? Okay. Uh, my father's stealing cows, and he's trying to become, he's a bad, but he's, he's stealing cows while he's, he's learning how to read. He came from a really small town also, Fire. which is where I was born, in the Reeds, in the Free State, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was born in this place in a van on the way to the hospital because that's how small the town is. Like, my mom broke a water. You one of them babies? Yeah, I'm special as fuck. I only yeah, even care. Yeah, you niggas, got a unique story my design from birth. Is too much. Yeah. yeah, niggas can't act like <laughs> you I'm was not never going to be regular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even even my voice being I like this is because I come from mm. a lineage of strong Sutu men. Their voices are like powerful. I'm presence. supposed to speak. You yeah, there's me? a lot of presence in there. But I go to the school, bro, and the social dynamics fuck me up so much. Uh, I was already feeling 
like I wasn't much in my old school. Like I loved myself as a kid. I was a really happy kid, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, when a kid becomes aware too early in their life, mm -hmm. that's when they become sad about things they shouldn't. Hell yeah. You feel me? And that's something I felt in grade eight already. I'm at the school. I'm like, yo, this kid's coming with a Porsche here. Yeah. The black kids are saying I'm too niggerish. You mm. know, there's no the, the, the black kids. I'm thinking, nigga. You know, and the white kids they move away when we sit next to them in class. So it's like, where do I fit in? So, Shit, yeah. So I'm that quiet kid in class who's like, I'm writing the craziest raps ever in Vernac, and I'm not getting initiated when dudes are being sent to go get water and whatnot because I'm too much with the raps. Okay. They calling me double H. Oh, they already knew you were. Dog, first day, busy. grade eight, when it's yeah. like, hey, when I shine my push up, I just said that. That's why he raps. Just say, Qua. I said, Quay. So, how'd they problem. know you rap? Uh, shout out to my boy, Neo Mafabatu. I think he saved me. He was in grade 10. Yeah. He's like, nah, 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 just tell him to rap. Yeah, yeah. yeah just tell him to rap. Because <laughs> I said with the grade 10s real. after. Yeah. You get me. But mm. I still didn't subscribe to to the e ecosystem of like bullies, cheerleaders, whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I was myself the whole time. When I was in grade six, I read Ozzy Mandias. I read The Tempest. I read, um, I read Maru. Did you say six? Yeah, grade six, when I was 12 years old. I read Shakespeare, yeah. I read Bessie Head, I read Chinua Achebe, you know? Because I get on my pops is studying to be oh, a yeah, teacher. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, when you said so, that about your pops, I was going to be like, okay, that makes sense, because you are very... Yeah, so they're stealing books. Sometimes it's books from their schools, and we didn't have toys much and whatnot. When mm. the PlayStation 2 came out, I got the TV game, if I yeah, can give you, like, catching a... catching up, yeah. Yeah, you understand the yeah. difference. I was an outside kid. I made slingshots for myself. We yeah. hunted and whatnot. But I loved having worlds in my mind because it made me forget what's happening maybe sometimes at the house or mm -hmm. in the hood. You feel me? So I read stuff like that. And by the time I'm in high school, my pen is just crazy, bro. But at the same time, social dynamic, which is what my music is mostly about, you know? Mm. My last project is about the stillness where I'm like, black people need to stand still because we've been in motion so much in this country. Um, we never have a moment to say, but how do we feed as a people? This country is like, what, 28 years old, 29 years old? The freedom? You know better than me. Oh, the freedom. Yeah, you the mean freedom, from 9 4? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's 29. Yeah. It's 29. You know, it's a very young freedom so it's to a have. Young nigga. That's yeah. why the, old, the OGs still want the Lambos. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why they're TikToking with us. Mm. You get me? Yeah. Because they still can't That's tell why us it's how still a feel. mess. Yeah, very yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, I get, yeah <laughs> for sure. But all of that goes into this kid going mm. into the school, right? And now I have access to, like, culture in town. It's like, now I'm hanging with white kids. They're exposing me to alternative music. But these are the kids buying weed from me first, you know? Mm -hmm. Then I get arrested. I get arrested, everything goes upside down. For wow. the weed selling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the charge was arrest. Uh, it was a uh, possession with intent to distribute. I'll never forget when they said it because I was a Them kid. Is drug dealer charge. Uh, boiling my eyes out, though. Mm. It wasn't about none of that tough shit. I was just trying to make yeah. some money. And you, how long did it take you? <laughs> I was a kid. You know, minors, what they do, yeah, they yeah, take yeah. you through the system of like taking you to those after school programs. Uh, my school also said you're not allowed to go to class because we're scared that you're going to deal because we see why you do this uh, thing. Oh, they were saying, yeah. Yeah, and I was giving money. Only I was doing mm. my thing. That's how they call me Dope Boy. You feel me? That's where the name comes from. Respect. Respect. Mm. After I get arrested, the drug dealing thing became realer. Where it's like, yo, after school, we what actually have What made it realer? Be popping. Everybody know I sell. <laughs> so it's like, Especially after bowling your eyes out when it happened. So then you realize that, oh, shit, now this got me, you know, popping a little. I'm, yeah, I'm a part of the social structure now that's like a kid who is going through puberty. Yeah. Yeah, you know, everyone yeah. wants to try drugs at school. It's coming to me. Especially the black kids. Like, yo, man, I want to try that thing. Which thing? Nah, that thing. It's like, all right, after school, don't get me held up, you know? And then we're really, like, copying shit for dudes. Or we know the plugs. We have a specific flat that you can come bullet if you want to do things, you know? And just rock out. <laughs> Niggas would rock out. Uh, you feel me? We had adults. That. We were selling drugs, too. Yeah. You feel me? And I still didn't want to be a tough kid that whole time. Mm. This is context about the gun talk, right? Yeah. Um, cool. Fast forward to now almost finishing high school. I'm coming to Joburg. I'm meeting dudes. Jay Kayembe. I had a song with Slick at that time. Um, I'm on hype maybe like three times. I'm popping at home. And I'm more popping because the shit I'm rapping about is real life. Yeah, they feel Niggas you out there. see me yeah. after school yeah. every day. You know, outside with yeah. that Dolly I mentioned, with that bro I said, ah, he's lame. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a beef song about some dude who had Cavela's dog. I was going crazy, <laughs> you know? But I was popping in the infrastructure of home. Yeah. And that's also what almost killed me. 
in terms of lifestyle. Because mm. I think I could have popped off earlier. Did you start popping after getting arrested? That made you pop and get cool? I was a little... I think I had a, I had a small... What do you call it? A uh, level of self-esteem about myself in terms of the, the, the culture in town before I got arrested. But when I look back at it now, I was popping. Yeah, you were people, ready people to loved me because he was like, yo, that guy is not scared to like, he's speaking to a cheese girl next day. He's with like a Bora girl. You know, I went to yeah. my farewell with a Portuguese hun. My mom's in the morning even there. None of my family was there, mm-hmm. you know, but they heard about it. The hood told them, <laughs> they're like, yo, that, that boy put up. And that was my thing, you know, I always just wanted to be different. Yeah. But we finished high school and in my matric year is the peak of the street culture for a kid, you know? Mm-hmm. We're, we're in our matric. I'm in my matric hall writing paper three. I got like two grams of cocaine in my pocket, bro. Shit, nigga. You know? Mm. Could be for selling, could be for usage. I'm a kid. It doesn't matter, yeah. you know? Were y'all touching it too? I know. We were touching everything. I tripped on acid the next year, you know? I, mm. My mind was open so much to how people live. And sometimes yeah. I didn't know how to dictate whether it was good ways of living yeah. or not. You feel me? You were just checking it out. As a kid, man. Yeah. It was fun. I loved it. My fro can be toilet to Khan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean the toilet. Came back Shakespeare. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you get me. This is a small town kid. This is not a kid who's thinking he's gonna be on TV. One day going to Yes, play. we dream of that. We speak on it in passing, but You're it's living like, the hood dream at I'm, the time. I'm a clara dope boy. Yeah. I don't need to be any anybody I'll, else's yeah. dope boy. Hell yeah. But um, it gets real after high school. I come to Joburg for like maybe four months. Uh, my mom Chasing it? Yes, or? I'm chasing it, but low key. You know how we okay. chase it. We say we want to yeah, go to school, but it's cap. Yeah, I hear you that. Know? I hear that. My mom took a little loan. She took me to like one of them trap FETs, you know? Hell yeah, like, yeah. I give a little fly by Nate. But <laughs> yeah, to, the pyramid scheme schools. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was, I think it was a real one. I won't lie. It's gone now. Yeah. <laughs> I peep it now in Jersey. It's gone. <laughs> Shout but, out to moms for the loan. Yeah, nah, shout out to your mom. Mom, she took a little loan. Maybe yeah. my 15th hour mm-hmm. for Kose I did three months in that school. I'm sleeping on my sister's floor. It's as hard as this floor we're sitting on right now. Shit. And I'm saying to my sister, I don't want to sleep on this floor for this HR shit, man. Oh, imagine, he was doing the HR right there. Doug, imagine me firing you. Oh. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to now I'm on the Me Too list. Yes, you feel me? But I was like, nah, nah, nah. I had a real chat with my mom. So I was like, yo, we're, we're already like doing it hand to mouth with the school thing. Just take mm. that, go up, put a gate by the yard there. You know, we live in a crazy hood. Or do something with that cash because you took the loan. Mm. I'm going to trap it up. If you can just let me just bamba. Her. Yeah, yeah, let me bamba her. five clip on a shop right once in a while. You know, I'm good. Mm. And that five clip is a re-up. It's not even lifestyle. I take that five clip, I hit Brahma, go to Madlera's, go make two bands, then I'm back in Josie. I you get that. me? Because I learned how to do that from when I was a kid. That's fine. The drug dealing was just a, another way to do it. Mm. But, like, I've made money in multiple ways. I sold snacks when I was a kid. I used to make my own little mm. foosball tables so dudes would come rock it with me. But now we, we're around, like, criminals, bro. And, like, my raps are so good, but, like, the stuff that's happening is hurting me. And that's when my music became conscious. Mm-hmm. That's when that's when I decided I don't want to sway anymore in my music that much. You know, mm-hmm. listen to my music. You Yeah, you don't you don't just be saying bitches, hoes, and, and ass. And yeah, and, and that, that, those me. are, like, top of the totem, mm. like, like, like uh, taboo for me. But I'm saying, mm. like, in general, I just don't sway in my music. I get my point across. And dudes be like, you're trying to be so hard. But I'm like, wait. Where, yeah, yeah, where's, uh, and, where's that? And yeah. that's the same thing with the stick talk at home. All of those dudes that you see in my videos, some of them are in jail, some of them are passed away because of the culture. Mm-hmm. But like all those people just loved me because I was myself. Even around them, I wasn't scared. I wasn't trying to switch up, you know. I shot guns with those niggas in public, but I didn't want to join the gangs after. Mm-hmm. You know, I, sh- I shot drugs to niggas. We pulled out in the camps, but I still stayed dope boy. Shot guns like what? Just playing around or yeah, 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 yeah. A couple times, you know. Just, hey, man, I'm going to this one <laughs> in public. Quickly by the shop. In the hood way is, yeah, but, is the best, though. But I'm so happy I saw that before who I am now because I feel like it would have been such a bad way for kids to see me now. If you were still like that? Yes. Mm. I like the idea of, like, in the mm. collective of street rap right now in South Africa, being the mm. one who's like... A little big brother of some sort, 
You mm-hmm. know, I want to say to them, I get that pain. I know why you're moving like that. I get the sitch. But like, I don't know, man. You get it how you live. And if you're living crazy, you're going to live mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. And that is the shit you're talking on the, on the album. Yeah, dog. Like, yeah. I'm standing still on that cover to say to dudes, I come from one of the most violent hoods in my side of the Northwest. But I'm not trying to be... A, 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 a seller of that lifestyle, especially because it's peaking now. Matlera was trending last year on Twitter. Did you see it? No, no, no. There's a dude from uh, a, a, a crew I won't mention because I know all these people and like, yeah, those things are very close to my house, close to me. Yeah. Dude was trending and he got he got shot by dudes very a very uh, a brutal way to die even you know and clock stop was trending which is Matlera. Yeah. And people are like, oh my god, uh, SAP SAPS should go to clock stop. What what? Because of a white man getting robbed at home affairs. I'm like, yo, we talk about this shit every day as the general populace, as the yeah. brown people of this place. We never mm. see this much attention. But as soon as it's Opa uh, Hanky Opa from someone. yeah, the left there, you know, they pull <laughs> up on him. And it's no no offense to him. He deserved help, you know. But it's mm. also like, what is the situation that makes for the youth in that place to do that? You know, not to say I know dudes, but what if I know the guys in that video? You know, mm. and I'm like, I might understand why dudes do that. Some dudes were the best soccer players in my letter. And then th- there's no there's no space to do that. There's no space to play soccer. There's no s- space to bring you to Joe Break this, this, to push. You know, like, we're so rare at home, people like me. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dino Ndlovu comes from Atlera. Who's that? Um, Dino Ndlovu, very good soccer player, friend of mine. Um, yeah. I'm terrible with the soccer. Shout out, Dino. For real? My bad. Yeah, I yeah, thought I'm you were on the soccer nah, crazy. NBA, NBA, NBA. Say less. Yeah, I hate sports. That's why I rap. Yeah. But to close that off, McLaren Topoy doesn't want to be a hard rapper. Mm, but he is, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> I've see, I see, I seen some but of the craziest shit though. in my life, dog. i seen... Mm. I seen people get their tummies open when I was a kid. I seen, yeah, brutal crime, man, mm. you know? And that's where that energy comes from in the songs. Mm. When you come from a place where you protect yourself a certain way, that energy is scary for people who don't. Yeah, yeah, of course. You yeah. get me? So mm-hmm. that tone I use when I go to that <coughs> side, is like, that's how he was yeah, when, when he was outside. In there. Mm. When you're pulling with a brew, mm. wants to test you, not when yeah, 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 yeah. That has to come out of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. Now, it. I'm right now it's suits, dog. It's velour, you know. You keeping it? Uh, Linguini, fettuccine. You, you, you hear me? me? Please, I, I even took off the grill today just to show them I'm yeah. really bullying. <laughs> really bullying. I heard it. So first sign of light was was it was it niggas posting your shit? I mean, dog, I was popping from home since grade ten, like I was saying. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like mainstream too. Oh, mainstream. What, yeah. What now brings you over to us? I mean, like 16, 17 years old, Fred Kayembe bumps into my stuff because of mm-hmm. DJ Vigilante. Mm-hmm. Uh, who was who was Megas DJ actually? Who's? Uh, Fanatic. Fanatic yeah. post. It's like, yo, the dudes who sent this song, let's call Champagne Music, hit me up. But if I'm going to tell you about like when I started popping off, I made music on Jube Jube Speeds when I was in grade six. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear one of the songs? Jam it. Jam it on the mic. The Hell yeah. And then, uh, as an ad break, highly uh, requested was the Shade Game to come back out. That's why it's back out this week, so don't get that twisted. Shade Game on is what they say. Jam for us, out there. Bro, I've been rapping since I was 10 years old. So this is Lil Glare. Yeah. What was your name then? Uh, TV Game. Because <laughs> that's the... F- that's, that was my thing. I started mm. trapping because of So gadgets. you were playing on what? Oh, okay. Nah, okay. Telegame station. Yeah. You know? Whatever, actually, bro. My, my big brother used to go to town, jack like bikes, um, anything if the white kids just left it on the lawn. But sometimes <laughs> dudes would come back with cartridges, toys. You feel mm. me? So I actually get my spirit from my big brother. Who has these songs? You s- so you have a joint you made in grade six? Yeah. I have a couple. You know what's crazy? That's crazy. The, yeah. It was still my thing. Like, that's how I started the verse. I'm just asking yourself which one to play. Yeah. That's me. That's you. This makes me cringe. <laughs> this sounds like a squatter camp joint. That was the influence around that yeah, time. Yeah, at that time, right? This is killing me. We Yo, you were fire for a nigga in grade six? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is my boy, Linda. 
But yeah, let, let me fast forward to my flow. Yeah, let's hear you. We were in a crew. It. Who's on the hook? It was all of us. Okay. My late best friend, Daisy. Because the hook also, the niggas are on it. Yeah, they're, we, not, they're not bad. This is me. <laughs> you were rapping. This is good. <laughs> what are you cringing about? <laughs> I know where this kid was getting these raps. <laughs> <laughs> But you've Anyways. always been conscious, though. Yeah. Like, you never were just saying some random shit, even as a kid there. Yeah, you're Like, you're speaking about your surroundings and what's actually going on. I mean, you're saying we should elevate, you know. Um, yeah. I was, this, this, is a, this is the kid of Hype Sessions, you mm. know. This is two years after Hype Sessions started dropping the tape. So, Hype Sessions Volume 1 changed my life. That's what, 2004, what five. Four, five. Spaceman, Emphatic Tabs. Um, um, Might have even been three. You get me with yeah. the red cover with dudes are freestyling yeah, by yeah, the corner. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was my brother's uh, first disc at the house. Mm. Um, and at that time, I remember visiting my pops. He had this PC. It wasn't really working, but it was. So my brother took it, did some hood shit to it, and yeah. then we could make it a, a CD player. Oh, you yeah, know, it didn't five. function proper in mm. other ways, but, but we could play the music with yeah. it in the room. So that room became the room. You know, this guy. He chows his transport money and starts going to school with a bicycle just mm. so we can take pictures. He's buying film. He's got a camera roll. Then my mom saw him when she's in a taxi to work. Like, whose son is this? They're riding this thing so hard. <laughs> Ish, my mom, she turned, dug it, broke her heart. Mm. Like, yo, why are you going to school with a bicycle? We're not like that, bro. He's like, nah, man, I bought a camera for me and TK. You know, my brother. Oh, yeah, he always wanted me to. Just like you mm. and... It's like you and Yontwani. Fox. Hey, where's my boy? Fox, but he's in the mid. Ah, uh, when? Ah, uh, when I'm a ranger, you're not a young nigga. No, <laughs> he's not. He's the nah. nigga now, yeah. But yeah, the, uh, the consciousness comes from the books, but it also comes from my father. Yeah. My father is a poet. He's a writer. He's one of the smartest black men I know. He plays like 96-piece Chinese chess against the book, and he doesn't cheat. He doesn't like look at the book's next move. He'll do his move, then he'll check like... You feel me? Shit. And he's in the hood. He's in the back room right now. Yeah. She's still quiet. Just living But like he's doing his thing, you know. So there was a time when he wasn't around for a long time. Maybe like 10 years of my life from like when I was 10. I think that thing made me rap. The okay. the loneliness. Okay. You know, the, the, the lack that. of having mm. like a male figure. Because around that time, my throat man is growing up. So obvious. I think I'm ready for this Rona now. Are you ready for the Rona? Chopping it real nice right now. I don't know. That's the beer level, Doug. We'll talk to. We'll talk about why I don't drink beer. I hate the taste also. Can't lambs at all you for the beer. It's not eclectic enough for you. It's not eclectic. Not bits of lambs like but the one to go. Well, beer isn't romantic, man. I hear that. But the consciousness came from that. Coming from the northwest, uh, Tswana people are. Uh, yeah, just hold down my boy. You know, you know what it is. Hundred block we do. I soon believe. Consciousness comes from coming from the Northwest, Jabba and Hype Williams. Jabba was actually conscious. Yeah, come yeah. on, Harambe. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just his music in general was so black. Did, mm -hmm. Can we not say he's the one who started the whole thing of even bringing African music into our hip hop more? You I get think me? So. Like linking with uh, rappers from foreign countries. Yeah, I, I was talking to Casper. He the first to be international. Yeah, I was talking to Casper about the Amo uh, uh Shit, cameo. In the music and lights video, mm. that was a big deal. Hell yeah! That's when she just dropped. There's this one thing that's got yes. me tripping, and that's Imagine when Jabba that has a yeah. Imagine that. You get me, and that's when Cooley was me. That's when Cooley was. Hey, Rotmani, what's popping after this? Yeah. And that's the structure of Motswako. You can't be a Motswako at least if there isn't a little bit of consciousness in your music. Yeah. You get that me. Makes sense. Yeah. And the consciousness sometimes isn't. Uh, hypothetical, metabolical, <laughs> it's what's happening in your hood. Yeah, it's How what's do the people really afford? Real. You know, 25K mm. is a conscious rapper to me. Hell yeah. MT is a conscious artist to me. I can't even Hell just call yeah. MT. Uh, yeah. uh, you get me? Respectfully. Shout out Big Hustle. You feel me? And anyone else who speaks about where they come from and not just the fun part of it. Mm. I used to get mad at people who would make music that would like, ah, it's popping, I got this many dollies. But I was like, that is also like 
an avenue of speaking about where we're at. I'm starting to understand. Mm. My thing is just like, there's a certain cap for me in terms of like, yeah. we can't party every day. That's why this country is where it's at right now. Because we party every, well, because they party every day. I'm at the crib. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're not by the inquiry anymore. Eh? I'm at the crib. I just have my little bag. I'm at the crib, yeah, niggas. Ladies, damn. Yeah. I yeah. saw you talking about the retractions or what last time you were on Twitter. <laughs> I didn't even know it came out. <laughs> yeah, he dropped on, um, he dropped on that night. So when I shot that video, she was really going through contractions. I said contraceptives. On oh, video. yeah. She yeah, even took it to the yeah. <laughs> yeah, She We time. actually, 9 p.m., went into the hospital. How I does spent, that feel? I spent New Year's Eve. How does that feel? In the maternity ward. Oh, that was amazing. It, it, it was crazy. I, I was like, the first thing I said when the baby popped out to my girls, like, yo, if I ever disrespect you again... I would have lost my mind. Like, you just gain a whole different level of respect. But, of course, it's nerve-wracking. Me even making that vid, I was just, you know, I'm trying to keep shit cool. Because mm. it's like... You actually it, sweat. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> like, it's like, yo, we about to do this, you know? And, and it's her first time, you know? It's, so I'm also nervous on her behalf because she's also trying to keep cool. But you feel me? And how does that make you feel as an artist when you understand what the art does to the kids. Mm. Is there a specific mm. music you won't play in the house around the kids? Mm. Is there a Great. specific version of Zinger, whether it was Zinger or Smashes, that you're like, Ish, I hope they don't bump into this version of me at the <laughs> wrong time? Uh, nah, nah, not at all. Um, <clears throat> there's, there's just ways in which um, I'm being very aware not to speak. For sure. I feel, I feel like, because uh, when you grow up, you know, as <clears throat> from a kid to now a man, like the, you, you go through, there's a stage where it hits you to now address yourself. For sure. So when you're addressing yourself, it always going to go back to the childhood. Mm. So then you realize the root of the issues. And when you find the root of the issues, you realize it's a lot of the things that your parents may have done wrong. Or said. You feel it's and it's oh it's usually the said. The mm. said is like they, those things you carry and live with forever. So it's like I feel like black people are way too reckless with their tongues. Like in general, even yeah. how ch just in yeah. in garden they let's say this one like, hey, well, not in it. Mm. Like, boy, you just say anything. Hello, you know, it's like, you know, these kind of words on kids, I don't, so that's something I'm working on. Musically, nah. And do I want to hide any smashes from them? Nah, I feel like I've never wanted to, I don't know, I've never closed off who I am to anybody. For sure. So they're not going to be them people either. For sure. I think, I think for me that question comes from the Bible, dog. Mm-hmm. That's another thing I can tell you I, I really, like, tapped into. You read that? I'm trying to get in not, that. Not just the Bible. Mm -hmm. Just, like, spirituality now more than ever. You, you trying to speak me? on that right now? Because I'm in there. I, we could go there a little. A little, yeah. yeah. Touch We're on the that. ones they don't expect to go there. <laughs> we drip too much. Yeah. We sauce too much. They expect touch all of that, that, you know. But um, I definitely believe in God more than ever right now in my life. Me too. You feel me? Um, Amen. I definitely believe in Africans going home a lot. Mm. You know? Just like culturally. You don't need to be the most pantled up bro or or or. Hell yeah. But you need to know where your grandmother is and where your granddad is. So when it's real, just after you speak to them, then you go to God to say, I just spoke to your children, but also you mean guy. Because mm -hmm. that's in our culture. Yeah. You feel me? And I come from a two way <clears throat> family where like my mom's is like super Christian. Yeah. Like, 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 if I shoot a cover and my eyes are red or what, it's the Illuminati chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? But my pops is also like the realist. He's been to mm. a mosque. He's been to a Hindu temple. He's been to, to like a church church. Mm. You feel me? And this is a hot nigga, dog. This guy took a text. This nigga got busy. Yeah, yeah. Yo, <laughs> shout out to your pops. Shout out to my pops. He's the coolest Yo, guy. No, hold on. He sounds like a legend. He has a yin yang tattoo here, dog. How do you explain <laughs> that at the, at the pub in the hood? He's like an old school hippie. 
Yes, yeah. he even says like they used a to call him that. Yeah. You know? I remember niggas like that in the hood, especially when you said the yin yang tattoo. Yeah. That was like a signature for my, the my niggas pops that probably read had the, the afro with the with the with the with the kumkete little kicks. Hell yeah! I don't know, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, but, my, but my mom says he comes from such a poor background. He had, he would use a uh, 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 wire as mm. shoelaces. And like a tie as a belt, if you didn't have a belt, and you had like a serious <laughs> thing to go to. He's like yeah. really old school farming style nigga. Yeah. But that style of like my super hoodness comes from him. Yeah. Sometimes it's intentional. You feel me? Hell yeah. But yeah. Um, Your spirituality, spirituality right now. What's got you that into it? What got you that close? Just getting tired of asking myself the questions and saying maybe some questions are bigger than me. I should ask God. Or some things shouldn't be questions. They must just be messages to God and then you'll refer. And then I started reading certain things, and what I'm saying to you goes from some of us shouldn't be teachers. Mm -hmm. The Bible says not many should be teachers because the responsibility of teaching, you will, you, your punishment will be worse yeah. at the end of this thing. You know what it is? The responsibility of teaching is learning, and the only way you learn is the hard way. Mm. Mm. So mm. to become a teacher is, is, a, is a blessing that comes with... So I believe artists are teachers. Hell yeah. We literally sell lifestyle. We teach people how to live, how to think. Mm -hmm. And that's where my question came from when I was saying, now the artist in you, not Buddha T, who I'm chopping it with now, that yeah. alter ego that makes Chopping. music. Mm. You feel me? Um, I, I want to see how it feels after this. Yeah. You feel me? So do I, to yeah. be honest with you. Uh, yeah. So do I. Uh, what I did actually feel that was super spiritual was because before this experience, you know there's this saying like, there's no such thing as perfect, nothing is perfect. Mm. The day my son came out, I was like, oh shit. The first perfect thing I've ever seen. I was mm. like, God showed me perfection. Mm. Beautiful little boy, mm. perfect. What's his name? Nkosana. Ish, young NK. Now yeah. we, we pulling up on him. The prince of shout out to Kosan. And like Lamona And shout out to, to his moms too. She the one. Hit him with the grill way on the farewell. Come know? on now. It's a four piece. Give him, a nice yeah. give him a little tiny soup. And that goes to spirituality is even like one of the things that I think in indirectly made me change my palette about what I say because of the power of my words. Mm. I have a lot of friends. Mm. I have a lot of friends around me who are like uh Sangomas and whatever people would call them in our faith, mm -hmm. you know. But I also have friends in different faiths. I've, I have Islamic friends, you know. Whenever I chill with 25K, all I'm hearing is uh, Islamic lifestyle. You know he's, he's Islamic, right? I had no idea, but that doesn't surprise yeah, yeah, me yeah. at Ra all. Ramadan Mubarak to my boy, you know. Um, yeah. uh, when when I chill said. around him and his peoples, you know, you can see what, how it centers them. And I had this chat with my mom. So I was like, yo, my life is crazy, man. And like, you know, first it was like all that stuff goes trapping. And that got crazy. My sister had to write a letter to my mom and say, yo, how can you fight about But this one can come with his friends. They park the car here. They spin the car here. They do the drugs in front of the house. No, talk to him also. You feel <laughs> yeah. me? Yeah. And now that I've been spoken to, I'm like, damn, what do I do? Do I become like the super... Yeah, so to do, do I become like a super Christian? That was the question. Yeah. And I started chopping with my moms and we actually connected so much on it. You feel me? That's and fire. <coughs> that's how I even ended up writing the record God is a black woman on the project. Fire pen. You feel me? And, and that song doesn't come from just saying that uh, uh, God is a black woman as in like the, the, the story that we all know that the Eve gene exists in the black woman first. Mm. She can literally create every every uh, flavor of race we have on this yeah, planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Facts. black woman has the most dominant gene ever. You could mm -hmm. strip it and create everyone. But it also just came from my God was a black woman. The first God I saw was my mother. When I was sick, who would heal me? Mm. You know, when I wasn't feeling okay, who mm. would give life to me? You feel me? And all of those moves come from that nine to 10 year decision when I was like, I don't think I want to call women the B word anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think I want to swear on my songs anymore. Mm. And and it's crazy whenever I say that, it's like people are like, yeah, but you can talk about drug dealing, what, 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 what. Mm -hmm. I mean, dog, this is lesson one, hey? Yeah, like... <laughs> like my lexicon can just have one less thing that hurts me or the people around yeah, me. It's like, yo, this is not good enough? Damn. I'm trying to do one less bad thing. Like, shit. And it's like the ladies love it. But yeah. Ish. 
because now off of that, of course, I guess we may as well segue into yeah, into your smoke. Do you feel like it's smoke? Nah, nah, I can't be. I don't feel like it's smoke. Fuck them niggas. Some niggas is haters. Some niggas can SMD. I'll swear on your behalf. Niggas can suck <laughs> our shit. Fuck y'all niggas. Eh, eh, eh. But let's talk about it. Yeah. So you now had niggas go dig up an old ass tweet. Sure. Where you said some wild ass shit off of just hating on you because of what you're saying now. So sure. the backstory is I was you, nineteen. Where did you even come off even saying that on Twitter that you don't use the B word? I was oh I mean, okay, let's start there. Yeah. Not saying the B word. Some guy wrote I even hate saying the word. Mm -hmm. Uh but Actually, he didn't say it like this. He said it in vernac, which for mm. me doesn't sound so bad because the vernacular explanation of it is to be promiscuous. Mm -hmm. But the guy was like, Marula, Matlera has Ifebe rolling tonight. And I was just given context. Mm. I was like, nah, my dog. Say, don't call my people yes. like that. You feel yeah. me? One, but two, also don't attach how I speak to women or my lifestyle to it's about Ifebe. I'm like, nah, I actually haven't called women that word in like years. And respectfully, I don't because I didn't like how it made me feel. And I could never play my music around the house. I was raised by women. Mm. I wasn't raised by, like, my uncles and them. We, we come, you know those big houses, like my dear's house? Yeah, Predominantly, yeah. the boys are being raised by the women because the men are out working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One tall. So mm. it's like in a house where there's, like, nine women who raised me, when am I playing my tape? When all I'm saying is bitches, it's bitches, bitches. Bitch and this, that, and you that. get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And also just my upbringing. You mm -hmm. know, I'm not saying other niggas shouldn't, and I'm not saying they weren't raised well. Yeah. I, I just feel a certain way about my nieces and my nephews and my sisters and them right now that I didn't feel before. Because mm. when I had those thoughts, I was downtown in Matlera, 19 years old, probably had everything in my pocket. It's probably when we were stashing guns for niggas, helping niggas do the craziest of crimes, you know, mm -hmm. car theft, all of that stuff. Went to all of, there is no one there around a kid who is that age, 19 turning 20. I finished high school when I was 19. So yeah. you must think that that year, I was still a high school kid somewhat. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Get me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I hear, okay, you I get hear me. that. Yeah. And something was happening that I don't want to share too much light about because it's personal, but there mm -hmm. was something happening that I watched and it was between a male person and a female person. Okay. And it was like the female knew that she couldn't be touched because this guy's a man. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and this guy, something embarrassing happened to him, including the cops. Because of the fact that this woman was like, you can't touch me. And when he was like almost in the motion of, then the cops were involved. And just in that moment, I didn't think about it. Just, mm. ah, if Bruce mm. can get touched, then women can get touched. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. Very distasteful. Very. I think about those things all the time. Mm. I spent eight years of my life, probably even nine, dog. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what's this? Uh, removing that side of myself from my lifestyle and my music. That type of shit is a lot of work too. Yes. Yeah. When when you grow up around domestic violence, which I grew up around, mm -hmm. crime, which mm. you, which we grew up around, mad like dog. I, I saw people die like maybe four times from grade four up until when I finished high school, including mm. one of my friends who we saw them put uh, uh, that silver thing around, and none of us mm. could even go look that it's him, but we knew it was him because he was killed in front of where we used to do our stuff. Mm. One taller. You, you, you can't track the thinking of that kid, but... Yeah, he's coming from a different world. That's a hurt kid. Yeah. But that same kid, when he heals a little, he starts saying to people, and this is how that change actually happened. I heard Vince Staples saying, calling women bitches, have you treated mama different? I was like, damn. Mm. Where, mm. Am I standing? Where am I standing right now with my mom? You're not in a good place. Because you're this type I'm of nigga. I'm sleeping in the streets. My mm. music is reckless. My lifestyle is reckless. Mm. And the more I respected God, mm. black woman, it's the better I became, you know? Mm. And when that moment happened on the net, when dudes pulled out that thing, I was just very active on Twitter. I'm hardly active on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually a new look for me. People were enjoying it so much. They yeah. were having fun with me. Mm. And I say to dude, nah, dog, I don't like calling women that word. Let's call them something nice. Mm. Dollies, the girls. Yeah. There's so many options. Shout out to Keenan, R.I.P. Mega, but Dollies was the flyest one you guys gave us. Yeah. You gave me. And we'll, we'll, we'll get to the slang chat because I know you're a part of <laughs> design a lot. <laughs> Went all. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, dudes, I wake up at 8 in the morning and I'm seeing dudes saying. But let's not forget to mention that you now clarifying that let's not call women this word now had 
a great reaction from the women. Yes, definitely. Women now start melting. They like, oh goodness! This I think is, they're just sharing love. You know, <laughs> you feel that? Not like, about to say oh, too this much. Is my, this is oh, if every man now is like this, which and is where the pressure comes from. That's for where the, the niggas to not that's go where the pull pressure the trigger. comes from. Because I, I go to sleep, I wake up at eight. Dudes are hitting me with the oh, this you? But this is like this is from ten years ago, my dog. Like, come on, that family. was me. You feel me? But mm. like, how are you gonna knock a dude who actually really pushes for the idea of growth and changing? That's all that touched me. Yeah. And then mad people are like, why did you deactivate? I deactivated for myself, not for anything else, just to not feel that energy. Mm. I don't think I can. Oh, you deactivated? Yeah. Immediately. One time. Yeah. One time. Just, also because I didn't want. Out of there. <laughs> also because I didn't want dudes to DB and Google me. And she hit me up. She's the first one to hit me up. She showed so much love. She was like, my G, don't even let it get to you. People love you. Oh, you're going to she went also to yeah, they went crazy on where her. they were. So I left because I was like, yo, what else do I have on my Yeah, they might start going. They might find pictures with cats that have serial numbers <laughs> and then what <laughs> if that <laughs> thing now is Becky Tellet and some people at home oh, are in yeah, trouble they, or I what? You know, there's a lot of stuff on mm. on my old social media that was a kid who didn't know. But yeah. to wrap that chat, I have grown a lot from that, you know? Um, you can go watch Sobering Podcast, my first interview, mm -hmm. and whatever interview I did after Sobering. And you will literally see me say, from this time in my life, I stopped calling women this word. From this time in my life, mm. I minimize swearing to this much in my music. And if anyone wants to go back to that version of me and say, hey, but you were like this, that's literally what my art is about. That's why I'm standing still on my cover, because mm -hmm. it's not that loud anymore. Yeah. You know? And I hope South African kids strive for the same change. And sometimes mm -hmm. people will, will say, well, we don't care, you still did it. But it's like, <laughs> it's about you yeah. wanting to change. You know, Hell the world yeah. will get better. That's the only thing that matters. And this is also another teachable moment, I'll call it, because you being chosen as a teacher is why you're going through moments like these. For sure. Because now you're coming back to teach, and now students are saying, oh, but you... Which is perfect because... That lets you then teach. Oh, yeah, speak Say, about the moment, oh, no. you know? Yes, I was, but reason being for me to change, and you should do the same. But I wish I could go back in time and tell that kid, hey, man, yeah, it's not that bad, eh? Not just about that moment. So many moments that I was in a dark place about. Mm. But that moment is just one of the moments where it's like, it's so crazy when people hear you speak about crazy stuff on your art, but mm. when there's an example of it, it's like, all of a sudden, it's too crazy. Yeah, but it's like, yo, I literally said I was around the hardest niggas in Matlera. Who do you think is there advising me saying? Mm. I'm professional. That's the My boy bad. right there. I's a chama boy, that one. You feel I's me? too much. I said, Kui. You feel <laughs> me? <laughs> yes, continue. It's, it's just like a moment where I can say to my little homies also, you'll never know who you're going to be. So maybe preserve that energy because you might be in a better place. You but know? also, we come from a different world. We we would have never known the world would be what it is now because the world has changed so much yeah. from when you tweeted that. Yeah. yeah. But not to stay on it for too long. Yeah, um, yeah. That kid grew, you know? Um, that kid was that. around the craziest of things in Clockstop from gun culture to drug culture to violence, mm. laundering, dog. I saw too many things when I was and young. And he was a wild boy. Yes, was, and he was still a nice kid. He just wasn't okay. Yeah. That's why... You, he just was broken. Yeah. You go back to my history at home. No one will tell you about me rocking them. I finessed the licks. I finessed white folk and anybody else who came to come get what they got because they couldn't get it in the burbs. And I was like, oh, you in our world right now. Pull up on me. <laughs> but outside of that, I, um, I love energy because you can't destroy it. So I've always kept good energy. Even mm. in that moment, I was like, let me just not play this game. You know, because... Good call. Yeah, I feel like social media has like a certain group of like hit girls and hit boys. <laughs> Hell yeah, which is corny as shit. Whatever they say goes, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I saw people who I even mess with like on a heavy being a part of, yo, I need to cook him also because he's being cooked. But like, I know if they see me on another day, they'll be like, mm. it wasn't even that big of a deal. But I'm like, mm. should have kept that energy on the net. But I, don't, mm -hmm. I won't hold it because I don't hold much except for myself. That reminds me of your bars on... Um on it's bad. Is it it's bad? Where I say niggas acting like my G's, that's my pet That's peeve. my pet peeve. <laughs> Never had the nightmare <laughs> mess by your chest, please. please. Come on. You feel me? Mm. And that's just it, man. And um, you talk about niggas in your ear and 
is giving you love and you're just nodding even it's though cap. you know that is cap. Yeah. It's cap. Even here in Jersey, dog, I show love, but like it still comes with a certain... Because mm. niggas boss. are capping. I'll tell you that for, for a fact. Yeah, I've seen dudes... I've seen it. I've seen dudes say they love me and whatnot, but the, 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 the first moment that could make for a disagreement, mm. they went for the latter, which was the disagreement. Yeah. You feel me? And like... My favorite thing about this era of my theater is I can look dudes in the face and say, talk what you remember me. I was next to you for a long time. Mm. I, right now, if I say I don't fuck with you, it's not out of hate. Mm. It's because I don't fuck with the energy that, that you, you live, didn't had. that yeah. you have. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Even the OGs, they know me. I'm not with the cap stuff. Mm. You feel me? Um, I'm not with the cap stuff. Yeah. If you sell your face, it means you're for sale. And I don't sell my face. Yeah. You get me? And even to, to speak on this moment that we were speaking on, mm. I apologize all my life for my mistakes on my art. And day to day, I really just speak to people and say, yo, I'm so sorry for the person I was, you know? Mm -hmm. And if people would like to hear a bit more about like how I even moved out of that, they can literally just go watch my old interviews. Mm -hmm. And they'll hear like from when this kid was hurt. Dog, there was even a time when I was hating on dust. Believe dust? it or not. Yeah, I was a kid. The mm -hmm. sound. Oh, the, the sound. The sound, <laughs> yes. The yeah. sound. You feel me? I was like, nah. Fuck this shit. Yes, you know. Mm. But it's the same. I was around gangster rappers in of my course, Some of yeah. them are saying, hey, fuck that Josie shit. Fuck mm. them Josie boys. We're going to pull up on our own shit. We and gonna... that's just the energy where you were. Yes, yeah. you get me. But like, God forbid someone finds something like that now. I can look you in the eyes and say, I was just a kid, you know. Yeah. I don't think I meant that. You feel me? And even with that statement, I don't think I meant that. I was just mad. Mm. I was just mad, At but the world. we love the women in SA, man. I think we have the most beautiful women in the world. I this, these is facts. The options is crazy. These is facts. The styling is crazy. These is facts. The design. Facts. <laughs> wow. Built the shape. For the kill. <laughs> the why would I hate on that? <laughs> you get on, me? That's family. why I love South African women in all shapes and sizes. Real quick, uh, from which area are your favorite? Because there's, yeah, there's breeds. There's the PTA breed, which is different. And this is, this is another the one. The Durban I love. breed, the Cape My Town. My palette is eclectic, though. I love women in all shapes and sizes. Okay. I won't lie. Because clocks don't be such a. I though. don't. That like hits your spot with like, ooh, I don't, this time. dog. I'm, 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 I'm a dude, so it depends on so many things. I hear that. I, I have an 80 20 rule, so a woman doesn't have to be perfect, also. If mm. she is, she's probably not. Yeah. Hell yeah. She's you get definitely me. not. You'll find out in other ways. You get me, so. The hard way. So, obviously, like, if we're speaking, like, with the black women, you know, all shapes and sizes apply. Mm. Ah, but I've, I've dabbled in, you know. You're a thick, nice, petite nigga. Ah, both, all of it. You. Both. Then I never <laughs> get tired <laughs> unless the driver is reckless. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell. Hell but yeah. also, you know, yeah. me and the big girls have a bit of history. Yeah. I, I don't bench mad weight. That's how I be. Got the got the swag, got the three foot. Talk that shit. But yeah. uh, even a taller hand, because yeah. of my confidence, I'm not scared to be myself. To get in there. So I could even <laughs> nicely. <laughs> you smell me. I think yeah. women are like. I think God, when he was cooking, dog, he was like, yo, 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 check this shit out. I think we should drop this before we drop niggas. There's no way it was niggas before women. Mm. It had to be women. All that beauty. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it had to be women first. Mm. And then it was like, nah, let's drop the niggas. But let's drop them in intervals because you see they're wilding <laughs> for the darlings. <laughs> went on. I hear you. But uh, if I'm summing it up, I went to a mixed race school. Mm -hmm. That thing changed my life because I also started dating very young, uh, very late in my life. Okay. So, so, so I got to experience character in uh, all spaces with women like the hood girl who everyone keeps quiet when she comes to the shop mm. you know the cheese girl who everyone's scared to talk to mm. uh, but she liked me because it's like oh you're so poetic and you're still hood mm. you get me and you're mm. like you know so that poetic and hood mix is <laughs> that's too much that's <laughs> <me>. <laughs> mix. That's <laughs> you're killing them with that it's not even a design it's just the right way to go Oof. and I think it's because African men wear that I hear from history that when you used to shell out a hand as an African man Mm. Would hit her with the family clan, what? Yeah, you gotta. Mm. I'm saying I come from here. I Get your here. bars quack, right. Quack, yeah. quack, quack, quack. Then also, you have to be poetic with it. You feel me? And it's all about being conscious. Yeah. South African women, African women will always be village girls at heart, just like we're village men. Yeah, at heart. hell yeah, hell yeah. So that poeticness must apply. And I think the hotness is just like 
the militancy element of like of this course. guy has existed in what South Africa is, mm -hmm. so he understands how to move with me in these spaces. Mm -hmm. I, I don't blame any surely for not liking that. Yeah. Plus, I'm just cool as fuck. I dress well. I speak well. Like not stress. It doesn't I'm, I'm hurt. A vibe. I'm, mm. I'm like for real in the hood. Dog. I just <laughs> used to trap. You get me? I can chill with eight dollies and they can mm. all go home safe. Don't I like that. Yeah, I've always yeah. liked being that type of nigga too. Yeah, it's just, you know, maybe my dollies even like the one who's brought me by the corner. She's taking care of them with me. Or Chilly, something. Yeah. Because I get what Vinny was saying. Like, it's the niggalation. Sometimes they just want to. It's just. They want to dash. And it's like, dollies want to dance, dog. Yeah, Tony's on a chase. Like, you guys are always on a tick up out On the bamba way. Yeah, it's like, we you don't know, really... Give them a chance. We don't way. really... So, off the dollies, we love y'all. Uh, yeah, We gave y'all your shine. Please. Hardest MC 2022 for me? For me? For me. Yes? Is thyself. Please, thank you. Speak on it. You had a, a year. Last Yo, year. man. I think I didn't see it coming. Mm. I'm just always in my emotion so much. Even now when I enter and you ask me, how do you feel? I can answer that question better now from then because now I'm, I'm settled. Now you're settled. I'm always yeah. in my emotion. Um, I appreciate that from South Africa. Um, I mm. think it was a, a well-deserved moment for myself. I think I worked hard. Mm -hmm. You know, um, shout outs to the boys. Even Nasty, there was a time when people are like, yo, between you and Matlea, that best verse. And he was like, yo, but the songs you guys are putting up. up, up. I actually put that out. I actually made that poll. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> But, but, that was, but, but, you're but not, that's what it was. Yes, and you, you're you a part of the discussion now. Yeah. I can't blame you for some of the ways you bring out how you you're feel ushering me? yourself into the discussion. Yeah. A zinger who's going to be doing chopping it up with us three years from now might have a, a ruler and might be referencing. Until you feel right now me. you can wing it, yeah. you know? Yeah. And at least you have, I like the, that. you have the heart to say, I put that out like this. Maybe next time I'll do it like this. Yeah. We're a young country. Our culture is even younger. We're fine, dude. I like that. Went all up. But um, Nasty was like, the songs you're putting up against that verse, Yamat Lera, aren't really rap songs or hip-hop songs. Yeah. So I think, shout outs to Spank Daddy. He was literally saying, just give it to my guy. You feel me? And Yeah, because none of the rap joints can fuck with you. If That's I'm why we couldn't bring none of them there. If I'm being 100, dog, you go back to the features from the two years before when I started with like Pretty Ugly, Rap Relay, Windows yeah, rap Outside. Relay, crazy. I had mad verses of the well, year. Yeah, the verse on Tato's shit. Come on. <laughs> 25 shit. Who else? Yeah, you've Coolie been going shit. bonkers for like the past two years. Yes. With the feature verses. And I was coolly saying, yo, dog, I think I'm, I'm killing your, 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 your traction, trying to do the whole... Come learn how to be a boss with me thing. <laughs> yeah, Let's do yeah. it in and out. You mm. feel me? We learned from designs of like when you guys started trying to build collectives first. Yeah. And it's like, okay, the main guy and these are who's next. But it's like this era is like we all the main guy. Yeah. So Everybody can like, rock out right I now. I want you to be the main guy now. Mm. Be the main guy now. Right do now. It way. Yeah, rock out. You'll call me when I need to bend you. Call me when I need to hundred power you for our business. It's not <laughs> a favor, that one. That's my yeah. friend, but we make money together. Shout out to Cooley, man. I feel like Cooley has had one of the best... That's the like, coolest guy in South Africa for me in this rap game. He's had one of the best transition into an OG. Wifey just got me my first Rolly. Come on. Talk that shit, my boy, my, my, my boy turning 40 off a of Rolex and a big bank account. That man can call me and say, I want to get a little guy, nah. What do you want to do with it for our business? <clears throat> it's not just me as a rapper. Mm. There's a time when Kuli wanted to get a house in Madlera. It's like, yo, dog, let's get a house in Madlera. So it's like, I think that guy loves me. He, he does. Yeah, he, he should. Yeah. Kuli is loving. Um, I saw, I bumped into him in PTA after I had been hibernating for a while. And he hugged me like, yeah, he's crazy. He gave me like a that. real hug. And he's I was like, oh, like shit. That. But if he's like, mad at you, it's the same. You know, he, he won't hide it. Mm. To show you, like, yo, dog, I'm not fine. I'm not with okay you, you with know? that. Yeah. And I think he taught me a lot of what I am in terms of composure. You remember that scene in Paid in Full where Mitch says to A, yo, we're about to come into the club. Don't be doing no lame shit. When he, <laughs> when he popped the stack out that little joint, and I was like, oh, this is you on some James Bond shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> and you remember, hey, he's like, I'm yeah. A Boogie. Yeah. And Cooley's my Mitch. And right now, it's just Fine. full circle. A just got his first break. Hell and yeah. you can give it back to Mitch because this is paid him for. This is family. Yeah. You gave me a hand. He taught me design. Like, he's the one who said, wear the suits. Mm. When we did Bodega, we watched a Nas video. And he played that Nas video over Bodega. And Nas was wearing suits. And he was like, dog, this is you. He's like, don't smoke a quiet. Smoke a cigar. 
He was like, don't wear a sneaker. Slap up a trouble my three block upwards. Mm. I was like, you know what? I like that. He's like, mm. I like that. Like, yeah, you talking that shit. You know? And here we are. Now he's just calling me like, ah, you're doing it. What's next? You get me? And that's what real big homies is about. That's like, yeah. that's like OGs that deserve the term OG. Yeah, and I'm very sensitive about that term because in my hood, I'm like a young OG. Yeah. I've been popping since I was 15, dog. I'm 29, mm. turning 30 this year. Yeah. Big boy. Big you boy get me. shit. But yeah. everything is happening accordingly because I don't have a fast-forwarded career. There's mm. nowhere where I took a bag from someone and regretted it and it mm. fucked up my emotion. Mm. Everything is me. Everything you see my dad or dope boy doing is owned by him and the people around him help him get to it. Yeah. But I curated my album. I curate my shoots. I directed every one of my videos with the yeah. boys. You feel me? Even my business. Yeah, you have your own touch on everything. I just got the deal with Puma right now. We're about to go crazy. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> We about Hell to go yeah. crazy. I'm not just gonna wear it. Mm. I'm gonna curate. I'm gonna try put it in the hood more, not because of business, but because I'm a curator in culture. And this is fashion. Mm -hmm. You know, dudes can't talk like I also wasn't the best dressed rapper last year. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Talk, talk, talk. I can't. I can't even. Cause I'm trying to think. I don't style you, big homie. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you my guy. Come on, you remember man. that little joint? You Come get on, me? Nah. And yeah. it's like, it's not, you know, I used to think, I used to understand, I used to think people, I used to believe what people used to say too much about people, like even Cass. But I get it. I get why Cass has to say it out so loud. Because if he doesn't, too many people will try to put him here. But yeah, he's yeah, actually yeah. that nigga. He's that nigga. A Bentley yeah. and a McLaren. In real life? The ice game. In real life. Hey, bro, I got that nigga's ice is so hot. The first time I met him, I told him to take it all off. <laughs> I said, let me see that thing. Mm. I seen them fake diamond watches all my life. I was like, what makes a real diamond watch a real diamond watch? I put that thing in my hand. It went like this. Oof. Yeah, you... I was like, oh, oro my pigay. I see pigay. He pigay. One tall. Mm. And he broke down the ice and he broke down the texture. I was like, okay. You feel me? And that's why... Whenever we chop, it's the yeah. next chat. Even now, I was like, yo, what's, what's, what's that new joint running for? Even the mathematics behind that is wild. I can imagine. But you know, also, I'm a culture dude. I said with you, how many questions do I ask you? That's the chat. Yeah. That's, how, that's how you get the sauce. Feel, yeah. But yeah, we got, please don't talk to me about fashion. Just a disclaimer. Love yeah. you guys. Leave Love him you guys, alone bro. with the fashion. Is yeah, what he's don't, don't come tell me about it, Jordan, and you wore it with a what? And you must dress it. Don't just wear joints and tell me about it. Uh, me, I could rock you with the pep outfit. Give me two hours, I'll still rock you. Still kill you. Give me two hours. Mm. But that should I sleep. But now we up. I won't lie. Yeah. I got a few joints. That's, you know, this little watch. It's a young bag. It's, yeah, yeah. It's too many bags. Just, you, know? you know, it's getting comfortable. How does that feel when you get there? And um, is it like, does it feel like what you wanted it to feel like? It just feels great, man. It's nice, like, mm. being able to do stuff. Right? For my family, for myself. Like, being able to do stuff for yourself is very underrated. Bro, I went to my first restaurant date three years ago. Mm. That was hey. different. Yeah. You know, you know. Have you been on your first solo date? Ah, come on, I solo date every day. Yeah, you gotta ICB, get... ICB, Doug, you gotta join the family. International Chama Boys, that's some belief. <laughs> you know? Now, that's the new movement. Yeah. It's that for all my boys to take care of themselves, you know. You feel? For the pretty niggers. The pretty nigger community. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. A, I, I, I spoil myself a lot because I also spend a lot of time on my own. Yeah. Sometimes it's bad for me, but sometimes it makes for like such good introspection. Of course, it does. It does. I think just a good balance. It's like now it's exciting because now I can bring out my boys from home, man. You know, like Cotton Fest, we went there like 14 deep Puma suits. You peep those pictures? Yeah, I saw that. I was in a track suit suit. I saw that. This is, that's for when you're going to the funeral, but after you have a tender, mm. you get me. You get that one? <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> what, the tender? <laughs> no, the track suit was a suit. Oh, yes, yes. It was a track suit, but it was a suit. So I could run the game and go to the tender after. I hear you. You feel me? Ooh. Just different moves with the fashion. But yeah, we got, we, got, <laughs> we, we got some stuff coming through. If I can slide you some music. Mm. I got the Matlera tapes coming through. Okay. I need to see you at the house in the next two weeks. So. I got to come see you. When are you leaving the city? I'm not leaving. 
You hear? They might as well call me J J D B and I Josie Top Boy now. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, let me come see you this you week know? still. Yeah. My letter tapes, everyone's giving me so much music, dog. I got yeah. if I'm giving you a secret at least. I got Blackie on a boom bap song. Oh, that's fire. And he's speeding there. I don't even have a verse yet. <laughs> I'm just on the chorus. But okay. he's speeding. I'm like, yeah, this man's bad. Okay. How are you matlerring more than matlera? Mm. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Okay, that's fire. <laughs> you feel me? I got mm. I got some stuff I did with youngster that I'm gonna let out there. Mm. Um, Interesting. Fire. I've been with Zoo, so I know he's gonna slide me a few. Cause I asked him, I was like, come on, dog. we're working on the main album with Zoo. Mm. I was like, oh, come on, dog. just slide me something for Shout the culture. Out Zoo. You feel me? I got oh, some yeah. with my boy 25. Mm-hmm. I got something with Nanette sings. But I've really been rocking with the piano boys. Yeah, yeah. I get I get it. Okay. I get it. Okay. I see like where yeah, I get it. Eh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like that talk. I like that and talk. And when I say I get it, it's like, yeah, man, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a sponge. I could exist anywhere in this culture because I'm not scared. One taller. I'm not scared. So it's Hell like yeah. right now Stana's my boy. I call him Hermano. Mm-hmm. You know, that's my boy. We got Shout a Stanley, crazy that's the one. Boy. We got a crazy one. Okay. And it's not even on this tape, you know. It's for yeah. the main project that I'm doing with Suchi right now. Mm. The tape is called the Matlera Tapes because I'm just I'm trying to have fun with, with the culture. When is that due? As soon as you come give me your verse. Then. <laughs> and then we're good? Yeah, you're one of the last. I won't lie. And just for that year, you know. Yeah. I need all my Avengers there. Um, How much time we got? I, got I know you guys want to wrap us up. 20? Ah, uh, we go, cheap. Ah, but we ran through it. Yeah, we, we, you know? we chopped it. I like this chop. I got my little tapes. I got Adam's Theory. Uh, I'm trying to drop that for the summer. So I'm trying to give the culture. I, I told my manager, I was like, yo, man, this country is too young for us to hold on to music like it's it's America. Talk to that shit. You feel me? Mm. Blackie can drop like three times a year. Mm. He's the biggest right now. And why not? So why can't we? Mm. You feel me? And just in general, South Africa needs... A healthy There's not in enough the music. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So, yeah, my clara tapes, uh, Adam's Theory, and if there's still time, maybe they might hear a little bit of Brand Nubia, which is the, the, the last one in the series of the Diaspora series. Diaspora okay. is a conscious series, but also it has facets. Yeah. In Adam's Theory right now, I'm existing in the inquiry too much. You inside sure. the inquiry, Because I'm talking about now. You yeah. Know, Adam is me. And right now, you inquiry yeah. on a high so it's level. Like, I need to talk about that girl who broke my heart, but now I pulled up on, on her with the pencil. She's like, no, what's popping now? I'm like, ah, <laughs> come on. It's a new know? day. <laughs> and then the tape is just like me going back to hip-hop, man. I yeah. really always want to rap. I don't care what area I'm in. I always yeah. want to rap because... I miss rapping, too. <sighs> I miss it. rapping. When I, we, we need to sign a petition for Zinger, man. This guy's also <laughs> holding on to one of our songs, though. Ish, I'll Ish. show it, man. Ish. I might okay. fuck that one myself. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even hold you. I mean, respectfully. I, I, I ain't mad at you for that. But no pressure, because uh, I'm behind you, behind the scenes. So I know the facets that go into your planning and you feel? everything else structurally that will make for a great release with that record. It's just a beautiful yeah. one. Yeah, it it's is. It's a full I, circle I moment really with it. us. I really loved the fact that we did that. And doing it with you. In the room, and we were watching on the lake do that. Day. that. <laughs> I yeah. was kept in. Was yeah, you, you niggas were yeah, coming wild. from club because you were sleeping when I got there. You were recovering. I thought you know Slick's house, though. Because I first did the gold talk verse. Oh no, I did that after you. No, no, I think you I did it before. Did before? Yeah, no? I heard gold talk. Then I was like, yo, it's time. Let's rock your thing. Yeah. yeah but but Slick's house is crazy, dog. You know Slick's house. You get there, I that guy has all the bottles, dog. Yeah, yeah. He won't say no. Also. <laughs> Slick doesn't say no. Yeah, and Slick he's there. likes making sure. If you get drunk, he's getting drunk. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he's that energy. We are so. carpet to the place you want to so go So I probably to. just had a hangover. Mm. I probably just had a hangover. Hey, the liquor's touching me now. Even now, you see, I'm, I'm liquefruiting myself yeah. nicely. I think I just need a break, yo. You just need to chill out? I mean, I have too many club pictures, man. Wow. <laughs> and is the uh, McLare dope baby somewhere? Not a child, but like a a baby, like a, someone who's keeping you company. Ish. How do you move outside? <laughs> <laughs> what a question. You know? Wow. Hey, when I was like, you know, what are you confident? This is a confirming on this point. How do you move before. outside in these streets, you know? Um, I recently just got out of the relationship I was in last year. Mm-hmm. And I was trying to tap into my music a lot. 
Mm. But you know, L O V E don't have timing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. well, let me just say feelings, you know, I don't wanna blame you guys. Yeah, yeah. But I got a little crush, you know. Mm. Someone we might uh, mutually know even. Okay, because I saw you a little cozy with like. Yeah, I don't say no names. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I was you know. I like, mm, I like. Eclectic palette, you get me? I hear that. Because that, uh, there's something you'd like, I think. <laughs> Wow. But I mean, hey. I think that dolly shies me inside. You see me just roll my eyes like a dolly. Wow. You felt it. I'm definitely not trying to be outside and like sleep around and stuff. Yeah. It's not something that I like. That's played out. Even the, to the sleep around niggas? Yeah. That's played out. Just have a sleepover, ever. <laughs> sleep around versus sleepover. Come on. Sleepover, you get the breakfast. Pillow Ooh. talk way. Fair you know too. the pillow Come talk on. can bamba you. It's a yeah, it's a more complete setup. You know that one hey, we need to go bath. And then it's wah, 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 40 minutes. Ah, that water will carve it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think blues are scared to be happy, man. Yeah. I think For me, that's my vibe right now. Just Anything being happy, that, right? Yeah, that's yeah, my vibe that. right now. That's my thing also in the man. Like yeah. I enjoy people so much. I love conversation. Mm -hmm. I love culture. And I love a hand who like I went on a date to the theater. Mm. You know, obviously me, I'm uptown. I was like, hey, when I give a little blow my front seat, I need that box, the VIP. Mm -hmm. I said, box me nicely there, quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, you know, they must look when I enter. Because this is hip hop. And you've got the thing too. Mm. She's got me. I'm a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I see the international summer <laughs> boys. Yeah. We're both prizes. We must stop this thing off. You feel me? When I was like, I'm binary earlier, like, I'm binary about everything. You Humans should love each other equally. Yeah. I understand in nature what a man should do and what a woman should do. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the scale of caring for one another and making each other feel loved, mm -hmm. I don't think that scale should tip. I think I think if the scale tips, you're settling. One of us is settling. Yeah, hell yeah. Like like if she loves me more than I love her. Yeah. She's she's settling because somebody's doing something wrong. Because she's she's got someone who allows her to love without feeling crazy or stupid. Or vice versa, you know. Yeah. I'm a big fan of one who I can look at and say, Yo, I look at you every day and I want you. I'm that nigga. Child. I'm that nigga. And we're dripping. And the way you live. I also can't date a hand who can't drip. Hey, yo. Impossible. Even if she, by choice, <laughs> if if it's by choice, mm. yeah, but when you're with me, come on, yo. Ain't no such thing as not driven by choice. Some niggas are wearing 200,000 outfits, but there's no drip. Yeah. It's just a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> a leakage of some sort. <laughs> it's actually a problem. Yeah, you mm. feel me? So I like, I like people who design themselves. I know that's why you and I are such great friends also. Yeah, hell yeah. We speak about design the whole time. All the time. It's a very cultured... Of self, of culture, of music. So imagine a cultured relationship. Me and my new crush were blooming there. She can show me visual treatment. After visual treatment, she says, Yo, here's that thing you were looking for for your video. Oh, oh my God. I know what you're talking about. You feel me? We got to watch our mouth, though. Ish, with ne? with yeah. all that, yeah, because you feel me? Yeah, I'm giving too much sauce. You feel me? Because you're getting comfortable, so you got to but, but, watch your uh, mouth. If I'm wrapping that one up about my love life, yeah, it's dope, man. I think in between in between this moment that I speak on, there was just a few like, hey, Batum, the come up ones, you know, like, hey, this one can say DM. Am I that poppy? But also, I'm nice, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I'm the boy. Yeah, and, and not to like, gauge myself mm. but one of the ones that i got like super excited for and uh, this one i can say yeah the name come dog, on say she that she come doesn't on. follow me anymore and i'm like it's no beef dog i didn't do anything i took it as a fan when she followed me okay maybe the, the, the you know blogs if i say a eh, 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 example adele said i'm the hardest yeah. they're gonna write it in a saucy way yeah yeah but i was stoned dog i'm in studio then i see a dm from kanye Pao. Shit, okay. I said on red. The bad For two hours. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. You didn't know how to get <laughs> that. Hey, man, can you both? It's on send a little message. I like I'm my ears. Then I said something like, thank you so much. I would love to pull up to one of your platforms for an interview. <laughs> you know, because she was just showing love. Yeah. And also, I think that's the thing. Like, dudes get so confused sometimes when a woman of high stature, who's also beautiful, 
hits you up. The first thing you want to, the box you want to put it in is the handle level. Yeah, the cheeks. You want to yeah. put it in the cheeks box. She's not a cheek. Hey, yeah. Yeah. That's a, it's it's a real thing. Yeah. 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 She ends up. Yeah. This is quarter to she thought it to buy. She might have been doing anything in her life right now. Talk What's this little boy shit. talking about? Mm. Can you buy warm me? No, mm. but the blogs, the blogs only sourced it out. Because I said, yo, can you buy DM me and said I'm the hardest. And then they just sourced it out. I was like, ah, you guys are so weird. Actually, I don't like telling the internet. And then you nice said what? Anymore. Then she unfollowed you? And she, I, I don't think she unfollowed me for that. I think she just unfollowed me. Just moved on from you. I'd say, you know, conscious rappers are boring, though. Maybe I poor people. I hear that. I, I post a thirst trap for the girls who stay on my timeline. <laughs> you've seen them. I know you've seen Come them. Come on, give us more. What? Who thirst traps? <laughs> <laughs> who, who else, else is in the DM out there? Ah, give us one I other see. fire name. Mm. Just one. Because mm, I know they fuck with you. Mm. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> one. I know you got some very fat checks in there. I don't want to say no more names. It's not they like we're saying they're begging to get some. They I wouldn't just... know. What if I'm blocking? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm blocking. Okay, yeah, facts. Let's what if I'm blocking a, a work alone. opportunity or what, you know? Mm. But yeah, the pretty girls in the game show me love. You feel me? Yeah. And all the girls in the game are pretty. I actually don't believe in the concept of an ugly woman also. I, like I feel that. like we have taste. Mm. But it's like, yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Pretty girls love Matlera. And all the thotties love Matlera right now. So what can we say? I love that. How do you encapsulate where you are right now? If you were to like one bar it, he put the wrong nigga right here. <laughs> I like. That. I just got the Virgil Abloh G- LVs. He gave those to the wrong nigga. They gave them to the wrong. I nigga. just got the MCMs Puma Collab 13 Tower 12 Tower. They gave that one to the wrong nigga. You feel me? I, I hope we're, we're gonna put poo 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 poos on this, the, right? <laughs> we just got the deal with Puma. Mm. And Hayden Manuel is one of my favorite people in the culture. Mm. They gave that to the right nigga. And I joke, but actually, if I could say it in one line, the culture gave it to the right Motoko Lista right now. Not to say there's a wrong one, but I'm happy I'm the one they chose. I'm play. happy you're the one they chose, nigga. Please. You're the boy. Please. You're the boy. <laughs> Toast us out of here. Uh, cause Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm a nene and I'm a nene kazi. Yeah. The hey, the lady lava. Yes. Kinancha gave me matlera to boy. Kifigilen chaka zenga. The Lord, aka Buddha T. Lord of. The Lord of the cheekiest. The Lord of the sweetiest. Asom believes. Fatla ase paisi. Asi rekiiswi. Marongas tola yisi linete. Love you. My name is matlera to boy. It was so beautiful being with you, cousin. Thank you for chopping it with Buddha T. And y'all niggas, we're not gonna call the women the B word, but y'all niggas is bitches. And we out. Fire chop, nigga. Ah! I ain't had to say shit. See when you get chopped? My chop, I need to get chopped.